Setting up the correct shipping options and shipping settings on Shopify is one of the most important things when launching your store. Because if you are going to do this wrong, you could actually pay a lot of money afterwards out of your own pocket. So make sure to actually watch this video till the end to get all of the information that you will need to know to sell your product on a domestic level, but even internationally. I will also show you how to set up free shipping and a lot more. So first off, make sure to head over to your Shopify dashboard if you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to get yourself a free Shopify trial down below. Now once we are on the dashboard, first of all don't have a head over to the settings, but first of all rather head over to the products tab on the left. The first step that you will need to do is to actually accurately set up all of your products. When I'm now going to open up any kind of product like these sunglasses for example, we will have to actually add weight onto this. We can do this by actually selecting this is a physical product right here and by then putting in the weight. I'm located inside the EU so this is going to say kilograms right here and I'm just going to say that this is going to be one kilogram which is kind of a lot, but either way, make sure to actually accurately track this so that we can then actually later on use this inside our shipping settings. So once you've added the actual weight to all of your products, make sure to head over to the settings on the bottom left and navigate to the shipping and delivery option on the left. So this would be the place where we can then actually manage all of our shipping stuff. Now, uh, when actually talking about shipping, uh, it is important that it, this is highly linked to the markets tab. So actually let's get started by heading over to markets right here. As you can see right now, the only active market that I have is going to be Austria, which would be my home country. And as you can see in shipping and delivery, when I'm going to open up the shipping rates, this is also going to say that this is only going to be on a domestic level and this is only going to be in Austria. If we would want to actually sell this internationally and if you if we would want to set up international shipping, we would have to enable that inside the markets tab. So let's actually do that. I'm going to enable international shipping and I'm simply just going to select international right here and I'm then going to make this active. Now if you do want to edit the countries where you are going to sell to, you can always do that by heading over to more actions and by clicking on edit market. By default the international plan isn't going to have all of the 230 countries selected because some of them it is going to be hard to actually ship stuff to but in this case if you would want to add any additional countries right here you can always do that like for example yeah Cyprus we can easily add like uh, Belgium, Bosnia, Bulgaria, Croatia, Estonia and I'm just going to add these depending on my own likings and I'm then going to simply just continue with these right here. So make sure to actually update your countries right here if you do want to actually sell international Nationally. Now let's actually head back to shipping on the left and right here we will then have to set up our shipping rates. So first of all we do have general shipping rates. Now and inside the general profile we can then view our shipping zones. So first off we do have the domestic shipping zone. This would be Austria in my case or for example the US in your case. As you can see by standard this is going to be free. But let's actually change that. I do want to still actually charge some money for the shipping for my own country. So I'm going to click on edit rate and right here we can then set the rate. We do have the shipping rate as custom. We can then set the custom rate name. So this is then actually also going to be displayed on the end endpoint of the user. So if you do actually add test123 onto this, this is going to be visible. So I'm just going to name standard right here. Let's actually say that domestic shipping is going to cost us five bucks. But let's actually run a special offer where we are going to give free shipping out if a certain order is above 70 euros. So let's actually add that. Well, to do so, simply just select add additional pricing right here, then base this off the item price and we are going to set the minimum price at 70 bucks. Like this, this is going to give out free shipping for 70 bucks. Like this, if the order is above 70 bucks, this is actually going to give them the 5 euro option. So let's actually change that. Let's change that to free. Now, if the order is above 70 euro or 70 dollars, the shipping is going to be free. And let's actually then add another rate and let's actually add a default a rate right here of 5 euros so that all normal orders are going to cost 5 bucks. However, if the order is above 70 bucks, this is going to be free. 
now we can then actually also base this off the order weight so if something is 200 kilograms we would have to charge more money and so on now under the international rates right here you can then actually see this rate right here by default this is going to be 19 euros however i would highly recommend you to actually check this uh, with your local distribution to see how much this is going to cost usually 19 euros is going to be a good price it is going to be kind of in the middle but if you're for example going to ship from the u as to certain kind of EU countries then obviously there is also going to be uh, uh, customs and duties involved and you would have to actually take that into consideration when setting up your shipping but by default this is going to be 19 bucks for all of the international stuff and once again if we would want to actually add another rate we could do that by simply just adding that inside right here so this is actually it for the general profile however we aren't done yet make sure to opt out of this and right here as for the expected delivery dates we can actually uh, turn this on and I would recommend you to do so because this is a fairly easy way of actually increasing your conversion rate because a lot of people tend to actually look out for the expected delivery date because they know it from Amazon from other places and they just want to see this so in this case we can add a shop promise this is going to be through Shopify shop and this can be actually done through Shopify payments and this is then basically going to display the shop promise on when the product is going to arrive. I'm not going to go through this right now but I still wanted to show you this. The alternative way would be to actually set up manual delivery dates so you can actually set this up. However, I'm going to add a new video in the future showing you how to dynamically add the shipping dates on your product page. So make sure to watch out for that. I will leave you a link down below or make sure to just subscribe to not miss out on that. As for local delivery right here, basically we can set this up if we do have a local uh, kind of warehouse or if we do have a local store set up and, and like this if we are going to set this up we can right away deliver orders to customers directly from our locations so this is probably only going to be useful in a handful of occasions we can then actually also select pick up in store so if you do have a local store uh, downtown and if you do want to let the customers have the option to actually order stuff at your locations you can set it up right here as for the packages by default we are going to have a sample box which is going to be used to actually calculate the shipping rates at checkout and we can actually also enable third party calculated rates at checkout now actually this can be done through um, basically connecting shipping careers onto shopify and this is something which previously was on the basic and shopify plan but they've recently actually moved this onto the advanced plan now this right here is a test store so i don't have the advanced plan but either way um, if you are a big store i would recommend you to actually go for this as this will basically allow you to, to dynamically add usps ups and so on to then actually right away print out all of the labels to right away this Play the accurate shipping times shipping costs and so on inside shopify and of course i will leave you a link to a free shopify trial down below so that you can try out the advanced plan on yourself let's head back <clears throat> And you can then also change packing slips, this isn't really important. And if you do have an order fulfillment central, you can also add that right here. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe for upcoming videos and I will see you in the next one.